and I moved back to Arizona and I've been in Phoenix since. So, so you're married? I am, yep. Married and uh, just had a baby girl three weeks ago. Oh, you did? Yep. Yeah, brand new dad. Dude, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. That is awesome. She's a, What's her name? Sophia. Yeah, it's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. Just, yeah. yeah. So That's this is uh, my first week back on the road. Uh, uh, since your time off? Yeah, since my time off with her, yeah. Exactly. That's great. But man. baby's doing good, wife's doing great. Yeah. Everybody's healthy. Everyone's happy and healthy. Always start on this side of the engine. leaks on the ground, anything that's loose, alternators attached, bolted down, all my wires hooked up to it. Just general condition of the front. You know, I always, I always tell my students when I'm training them, it, it looks broken, it probably is. Everything's good, everything's legal. All right, go down to the back here. Yeah, this truck looks brand new. Again, this is my truck, I look at it every day, yeah. so I kind of know the condition of my brakes. Um, but on trailers, that's super important, because I have no idea if the last guy burned the brakes out, I have no idea if it hasn't had a service in a long time and the brakes are getting low again listening for air leaks out of the leveling valve here my airbags on all four corners you want to look at pretty much everything you can on the truck before you go last thing you want to do is break down take the time now to do a proper pre-trip let's get on the side of the road isn't fun trust me so hopefully we'll have an empty here on the yard what are your what are the chances what do you think the chances are man let's see it's a tuesday morning a lot of people are coming back from the weekend if they took, you know, Saturday, Saturday through Monday Sunday. off. Yep. The chances are pretty slim. I find the best way here to find an empty is I drive behind all the trailers and I look to see if they're sealed or they have a padlock on them. Uh -huh. That means they're loaded. Okay, so locked, sealed, 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 sealed on that side. Not looking good. <laughs> it's in dude. Not looking good. That one's on a truck. It's loaded. Hey there, how you doing? Do you have any night empties? Not you don't? Okay. Then that was the only one you had? Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll just turn around then. No All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I at least see night trailers here. Yeah. That's a good sign. Whether see or not we they're can empty, find one. whether or not we can take them is a whole different story. But yeah. we at least have them on property, so that's good. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Okay, will the doors just be open? Yeah, and if not, they're unloading some right now at door 17, so if you don't see any, just go up the steps there and see if there's one empty. Okay, gotcha, door 17? Okay, cool, thank you. So how do you do your trip planning, like, and how far in advance do you, do you know what your load is going to be? You never be? know. Um, I, I try not to stress too much about trip planning, because um, I've learned, I've learned very quickly doing this that your plans never ever go yeah. exactly how you think they're going to be, so. Yeah. How do you do your food on the road? It depends. Um, usually I'll grab something. From Somewhere. a truck stop, yeah, something, yeah. you know, one of the fast food chains. It's definitely tough to eat out here. That's it is, man. Sure. I think that's one of the biggest things. And there's times you get busy, and, you know, you're just just in the, the moment of the day and moving trailers around and delivering stuff, picking stuff up, dealing with traffic. And you just don't have time to eat, right? You look and it's 3.30 in the afternoon and you haven't even had anything to eat yet. Yeah. The alcohol and drug clearing house. We lost a lot of drivers. We've lost a lot of drivers in the industry through both of those things. Yeah, yeah. So we got to train. We got to train new drivers. We got to find new drivers. And that's that's a tricky thing too, because uh, like a lot of in, a lot of blue collar industries in general. Yeah. You know the yeah the average age of the workers 
getting older. Yeah. And there's not many young Re replacement, guys. Replacement, yeah. You know, I, I know at least in my group of friends, I, I'm the only truck driver. And there's yeah. not many people that want to do this type of work. Right, At right. my age, especially. Yeah. Most want to be in an office or... Exactly, or working from home or yeah. not working at all, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Um, about it, man. Other than that, any last words? Sleep tight. <laughs> What a day, it's about 10.30, uh, long day <laughs> for me. Uh, I'm not sure if it was that long of a day for for Russell. I just learned a whole lot and uh, again, just have a huge amount of appreciation for what our drivers do every day. Yeah, so I thought it was interesting this morning as we were coming in, like we were we were behind because yesterday when we started, we spent two hours looking for an empty. Right. Which you helped me understand that, uh, you know, that has a domino effect later on oh, in, in uh, for trip planning and trying to get to a place on time. And that's what we ran into this morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it all domino effect affected on us and just kind of, just get pushed back. We yeah. restarted my clock as soon as I had that 10 hour yeah. reset in, seconds after that. Seconds, yeah. Um, got down here and you know fought the traffic, which actually wasn't as bad wasn't as bad. I was thinking, yeah. Um, but either way, we're still running behind. And yeah, depending so on how this goes, we're gonna be running behind again. And yeah. Depending on how that goes, we might be running behind again. Yeah. So we're in a dock, we're waiting. Haven't felt the forklift go in yet. We've been here. Uh, we just lost the GoPro. <laughs> so this this loads a live unload, right? So we're yes. we're we're waiting for them to unload us now. And yes, and we've been we don't here. know how long that can be. <laughs> we've been here thirty minutes and they haven't even started. Yeah. Um, the appointment was at six o'clock. It's coming up on eight. We've got another live load at eleven. So hopefully we can get out of here by ten. Make it there and by we can eleven. Get over there by eleven. Yeah. But again, it's the domino it's effect. Of, it's super tight, like yeah. trying to maneuver the truck and trailer, not knowing which door we were going to get assigned and how tight it was. And so maybe just tell tell me, like tell us like how you, like what goes through your head when you're like trying to figure that out. And, and then as a new driver, if it were me and I got down here to this situation, I would be really ner It'd be nervous, terrifying. nervous yeah. about it, you know? Everything about this load as a new driver would be terrifying. Yeah. Um, you know, just as you get more experience, you do get more comfortable with, you know, these types of situations. Yeah. Uh, I always, you know, like you, you saw me get out of the truck, I kind of made a game plan before we even came into yeah. the fence, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, while I was still out on the street, I knew what door we were trying to hit. Um, and I'm looking around at all my obstacles and I'm kind of like, mentally driving the truck into the facility and kind of seeing how I would do that, right? Yeah. And, um, that's just something that comes over time. You know, driving the truck down the highway is a very small part of our job. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. Yeah. You know, how much stuff we do behind the scenes. Yep. Um, it's a lot. You know, there's yeah. a lot going on. There's a lot of pieces that all have to work together. And, and you got to be really flexible with the uh, schedule and your, your plans and, um, yeah. you know plan a becomes plan b and yeah. becomes plan c and d real quick and you, you know you've seen that already so yeah you got to be on your toes and able to you know make a new decision uh, but that's also you know part of the fun of it too, yeah you know? what keeps it exciting exactly yeah every different, day is different, every different. yeah and that's the thing you know it's trucking is it, it's addicting um you know there's a lot of challenges and get frustrated and stuff but at the end of the day it's like most people drive and want to trade this job for the world you know yeah. I know I want it yeah um, this, is, this is what I love to do just 
having lived a little bit of this over the last 24 hours, I it's just like strengthened the appreciation I have for for drivers, yeah. professional drivers like you, Russell, and and uh, it's a it's a it's a challenging, challenging job that I thought was challenging before I came, but now, man, I, I'm just blown away.